most people stand too far. So we want to stand closer to the golf. Most people stand too far. So we want to stand closer to the golf ball, get into that better posture, makes it easier to turn. We see with a lot of golfers that they bend over too much. Legs are too straight, backside sticking out too far, and they're kind of bending out toward the golf. And it's awkward to move from that position. And what will happen generally from there, it's difficult to make a good, good turn. You're restricting yourself right from the beginning. And typically what'll happen for the golfer? Well, they'll stand up. Or when they're coming into the golf ball, we'll get this early extension going on where they thrust, they thrust their hips in toward the golf ball. So they're not turning and pivoting. And it's all related just to how they were standing. Feel that correct posture. I've got this weighted object. I'm supporting the weight. So I'm, I don't support the weight from out here. I support the weight with my arms close to me so I can be balanced. I'm in good athletic posture and it's easy to go from side to side. So just try that for using a weight where you're bending over from here, arms hanging out. That's awkward and hard to do. And then standing up here in a balanced posture position, much easier to go from side to side when I'm swinging, much easier to turn and pivot. Now, in terms of the swing sequence, if I use this weighted object, I can start to feel a to and fro rotation, that correct sequence of motion back and through. So I just do little swings back and forth. Set myself up here. I want to start with a little bit more weight on the lead side than the trail side, so I'm going to do a little bit of a forward press in my foot here to get started. Gets the weight moving toward the target. And then I'm going to rotate back, let it swing back toward the target. You can see this pivoting and turning action where I'm moving from the ground up. I'm getting this good sequence moving into my trail side right away. I can feel the body weight over here. So it's, all, it's a little bit of a slide and then a turn. And I'm balanced over here. So this way I can, I can be in a good position to make a good pivot up to the top of the backswing. So the weight moves early. When I'm moving actively from the ground up and moving with that correct sequence, the weight will move early into the trail side. And then from there, I can turn around that. And then to move it forward, well, the correct sequence is from the ground up where the pelvis moves first. So now that I've moved back properly here, my weight's over here, well, I can do an active push with my pelvis. The weight goes from right to left. Now you can see a great sequence of motion, pelvis lead, active feet. The weight moves early back into the lead side. Then I turn around that and up into the finish. So really good, simple drill for helping you work, help you work your posture properly and that correct pivot and sequence of motion. Standing up in the correct posture, supporting it. And then from here, working on that rhythmical to and fro action, trying to move that weight in your arms back and through and feeling that good sequence of motion and feeling that body pivot from the ground up and your weight going from trail foot to lead foot, trail foot, lead foot. And the sequence weight into the trail side, turn, weight into the lead side and turn. You can start with the half swings and then increase it. Get a good natural dynamic swing sequence.